You know how a magician is never supposed to explain their trick? Well, it's a good thing fly anglers aren't magicians, because I'm going to explain this super useful cast, the roll cast. The roll cast isn't a magic trick, but it can kind of feel like it sometimes. It's actually a great little cast to use if you have minimal back cast room but still need to really get your bugs out there. It's also really good to use when you're nymphing and you're throwing heavy nymph rigs. I've got four easy steps that'll help you perfect the roll cast and start getting the benefits of this technique out on the water. Step number one, you wanna bring the rod parallel with your ear, creating a loop. Step number two, you're going to look to where you're casting. Keep your eyes on the prize. Step number three, you're going to push that rod forward in a very fluid motion. You don't want to hinge on your elbow or on your wrist. You just want it to be a very fluid pushing motion, pushing that rod forward. Step number four, you're going to keep the rod tip elevated. It doesn't need to be sky high and you don't need to drop it all the way down in the water. But if you keep that rod tip elevated, it'll help you properly finish your cast. Now that you're an expert on roll cast, it's time to help you make sense of all this stuff. What is, what is this? It looks like spaghetti. Next episode is going to be all about understanding your fly line, your leader, and your tippet and what they do.